Hi there. What I'm going over now is the journal entry example in Moodle. It's a great tool to um, have students get familiar with similar things that they see when they go to take online tests. So what I have here is a blank course. You can add a journal entry to any STEM for All course or any other course that you have. And if you don't have a course, you could always request one from the eCoach Mary Moreland so that you can build things and play around in it. So we're going to start in a course and we're going to build a journal entry. The first thing you have to do when you're in a course is go up here to the upper left and turn editing on. So if you click that, you'll know your editing is on because you have all these crazy buttons everywhere. And in this first topic area, we're going to go ahead and build a journal entry. Add a resource is something that you would give them to use as a resource. We're actually going to go to add an activity because this is something they're going to be doing and we're going to choose journal. Journals are very easy to set up. The first thing you have to do is give it a name. So we're just going to call this Natural Resources Journal. And then we're going to type the question here. Um, let's say, explain negative impacts that obtaining natural resources may have on the environment. also offer two possible solutions to these negative impacts. Give them that question there. If you go down, I grading is your choice. I'm just going to leave it out of 100, but if you drop that down, you can change it to anything you'd like. And I don't change anything else, and I hit save and return to course. So now you can see that I have created this journal entry. I'm going to turn editing off so you can see what it looks like for the students. So they would see this, they would click it. And this is what it looks like to them. It gives them that question and then they would hit start or edit my journal entry. Then they have that space to type. The question again is on the top to remind them. These tools are helpful for them to see. You have a spell check. You have different um, fonting things. Getting them familiar with that, just like as the slide showed before, how Park has a tool box when they are taking online testing. Now, as a teacher, I'm going to show you what the grading in looks like. So down here, I've created one prior to this video and had people respond in so that you could see what it looked like with the responses. So I'm going to go ahead and click this one down here looks very similar to how it does for a student but if you look over here on the upper right as a teacher you'll see view three journal entries so you would click that and then it shows you your student when they last edited their journal and what their response was you could then go back give them their grade whatever you wanted out of let's say this one was out of 10 so we have 10 out of 10 and then you could give them some feedback Scroll down to the next student, they have the score, and then you give them feedback. If planning's over and you don't get to everybody, you can just scroll to the bottom and hit save all my feedback. And then when you go back into it, it has that feedback and then it lets you know who still has not been done by saying no grade. It also lets you know who in your class hasn't even done an entry yet. So this is just a quick example of journal entries. Again, if you're interested in learning more about Moodle or how to use it in your classroom, please do not hesitate to contact Mary Moreland, the eCoach for Elementary, or myself, Jen Consalvo, and we will be more than willing to help out.